Good morning guys, how's things going? Welcome to week one of the vlog. This week, I've got a few things planned. I've got two weeks off work, so I'm going to be exploring London. Today, I'm going to see Dunkirk at uh, the BFI IMAX in Waterloo. So that should be a good experience. Uh, those of you who don't know, the BFI IMAX is like the it's the biggest IMAX screen in the UK. I've never been before, so it's going to be a new experience for me, and hopefully it's going to be fun, and hopefully it's going to be a good movie. So today, I'm going to go out for a quick jog. Got to keep up that fitness. I've been using this uh, app called Couch to 5K, um, and uh, I'm doing some interval training at the moment. I used to be really, really skinny <laughs> like three years ago before I started my job, but now I'm at a desk all day, and I've gained so much weight. Um, I'll show you some pictures. I'll pop them up on the screen. Hopefully, I can get a bit slimmer. In, uh, achieve my goal. I've actually never been able to run a 5k so hopefully this app will train me good enough to do a complete 5k at the end of it. I'm currently on like week three at the moment. Didn't record like the week one and two but I've made progress. I used to get really tired in the beginning but now I'm running like seven minutes a day whilst walking. It's this total of 31 minute training program. I'm gonna go for a run now so yeah come on let's go. Alright guys I just got ready. I'm ready for my run. Um, we're in my gym shop. Check it out. But, quick change of plan, Pros are sure, from the side men, he released a diss track, he's replied to KSI, so I'm gonna quickly re react to that, and then go for a run. Look, he's right here, right? Go to sure. So yeah, I'll quickly react to that, then we'll go for a run. Hi guys, I've just finished reacting to the video, so that's uploaded to my channel, so go check it out. Give me some feedback, tell me what you think. Now, I've actually run out of time, I have to go do weekly grocery shopping. Uh, so first I'm gonna go do that, then go for a run. Uh, today's been a bit of a mess, but let's see how it goes anyway. Alright guys, I'm here, waiting for my mum. Uh, a bit bored at the moment. Got nothing to do. Alright, my mum's here now, so we're just gonna go find her and see where she is. Bye, my mum. I love her. Hello. Bye. What is this? Ah, Parwar. Parwar. <laughs> English, English, ma. I don't know. English. <laughs> it's a Parwar. This is a controller. What do you make? Curry. What kind? Potato and corn So apparently you can get these little things. Pantola. Pantola. A whole tub of them for like 200 rupees in India. Here it's 8 pound a kilo. So here we are. One wants to get some sweets. They have loads of like Indian sweets in here. It's really busy. Looking good. Did you see all the flavors they had in there? There was like loads of variety of sweets. We got a few here. Yeah. So yeah, my mum's going to get me some food. It's called Bale. I told her to get like a really spicy one, so I'll show you what it is when I get home. Uh, but yeah, I really like it. Uh, it's not healthy at all, but I'm going to have it anyway. Uh, I feel like I need it. I'm not actually not eating anything today, so I want to get home. I'll have that. And then I'll have some pasta. And I need to go for my run still, so. Here she comes with the Bale. Woohoo! Really <laughs> Back, I'm home. Just got some food. The food. It's called bale. It's like little rice puffs. You see? Yeah, and it's just got like loads of like um, tomatoes, onions, and uh, coriander, and some other stuff in it. And you meant to put this like sauce in it, which is meant to be spicy. But I really like this. It's one of my favorite Indian street foods. If you never had it before, then I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I got the extra spicy one. So let's see how spicy it actually is. I'm nervous. Uh, when I eat really spicy food, I tend to like sweat loads. So excuse me if I do. So here we go. And get some of this sauce and just pour it in like so. I'm not exactly sure how much you meant to put in. Uh, I think that'll do. Don't want to drench it. Alright, that'll do. So, here we go. Have a little try and see how spicy it is. Ooh! Wow! <clears throat> that, that is crazy spicy. I can handle spicy food as well. I guess it's gonna be interesting. Oh, burns so good. It's actually really good. It's just finishing, and oh my god, I'm sweating so much. <sighs> that was a killer. I'm gonna need a massive jug of water, probably some milk or something to cool me down. But it's good. It's so good. <sighs> yeah, definitely go have that if you've not had it before. Alright, guys, I'm ready. We're about to uh, go see the Dunkirk movie at BFI IMAX. I'm just going to my friend's house now to pick her up, and then we're gonna go off on the tube. Uh, so I'll catch you there. Hello. Yeah. Three. It's there. Shall we get a bite? Let's go. Dodgy. Oh my god, it actually does smell. BFI IMAX this way. I 
never seen this before. Ooh, m and M's, French rolls, and mini Oreos. See that uh, popcorn? Uh, I might have to get one of them. Looks really interesting. But yeah, my friend's gone to the toilet, so I'm just waiting for her. Take a little seat. Ooh. Um, there's not actually much here, but I guess it's just one screen. So do you enjoy the screen, isn't it? Don't cook. I hope it's good. I've heard so much good stuff about it. Waiting for the ice blast. It looks so good. I want it. He comes with it. Thank you. Here you go. Hold it. Thanks. Check out this bad boy. Hey. Oh yeah. The ice blast and the nacho. Jesus Christ. You seen the size of that screen? It's nuts. Oh my god. So we're J8. So we're quite high up. I did that on purpose. It's very dark. Dunkirk. Size of the screen. It's crazy big. You know, people here. <laughs> so good. Alright guys, we're finished at the movie. It was pretty good. Uh, very intense movie. Amazingly shot. Uh, I'll give more thoughts. I'll back at home. But yeah, it was really nice. Um, Alright guys, um, yeah, I forgot to wrap up the vlog so it's the next day now. I've cleaned up my beard a bit as you can tell. But yeah, the, the movie yesterday was, um, it was kind of good. Uh, it did drag for me in a few places but I think the IMAX experience at the BFI really boosted how I felt about the movie because in the beginning of the movie it's like quite eerie there's a war going on but it's like a silent scene and then you hear the first gunshot and the IMAX surround sound oh my god it makes you feel like you're actually there so I, I did like jump in the beginning but uh, it was really good um, really well shot the cinematography was amazing it was phenomenal um, the IMAX itself uh, that huge screen actually fills your entire vision got your peripheral vision all filled feels like you're actually there it really immerses you in that experience so if you've never been to the BFI IMAX before uh, I definitely recommend it. It's the UK's biggest cinema screen. And it's in Waterloo, London. If you've not seen a movie in that cinema, definitely go check it out. Um, I might go back to watch um, the Justice League or something more actiony, something more comedic as well. Uh, some more I would enjoy more. But the screen itself, the woman at the beginning, like before the movie starts, there's a woman there, and she explains like the good things about the cinema. She was saying how all the other cinemas in the UK have like 2K, 4K screens. This one in the BFI IMAX was like 12K, or was it 18K? I can't remember it was one of them too but it was really clear crystal clear the detail you have in it was really good so yeah if you've never been to there definitely go check it out so yeah i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here if you like this video smash the like button leave a comment below uh, give me vital feedback to tell me how to improve and if you're new here subscribe and i'll see you guys next time in a bit people wow